Hey YouTube, what is going on? Today we've got a PSA submission reveal, and this is gonna be for 16 cards, and I'm gonna preface it by saying the gem rate is not so high. Um, I have been watching a bunch of, uh, you know, videos on reveals lately, and I'm finding that the ones that I've been seeing that are more recent, there's been a lower gem rate. So I'm not sure if you guys are seeing that on your end, please leave it in the comments below if you have. If you guys are doing really well, let me know. I'd like to know that too. Maybe this is just one that, um, you know, is just sort of an outlier, but um, let's jump into it. The first one is gonna be an Ichiro. I can see that one on top. And this one I think is one of the ones that actually did pretty well. So this is a 2012 Topps Ichiro. And one of the things that I noticed in this car that I actually really like is that it just says Ichiro on the back. I never knew that, because obviously his name is Ichiro Suzuki, right? But he just goes by Ichiro and that's it on this card, right? So there's no last name on this. I thought that was pretty cool. Had this in the collection and just wanted to send it in for grading. It got gemmed up, so this was really nice. I love the image of him jumping. Gonna make the catch, definitely you know Ichiro. So this is a nice card to have. I don't know if I'm going to sell this or keep this, but I'm pretty sure it's just going to stay in my collection just because I like it. I know Ichiro's coming up for the Hall of Fame, so we'll see what happens there. Um, after that, though, this submission is going to get a little iffy. <laughs> it's going to get a little iffy. Uh, I submitted a couple of these. This is the 2018 Shohei Otani Heritage Rookie, and this one came back in a 9. Uh, you're going to see we're going to get a lot of 9s, and this is probably one that I'm not sure... Why? I'm, I'm not sure on a lot of these nines, honestly. Um, maybe if you look at it, maybe it's the centering. Maybe. I'd have to take a closer look on my own a little later. But you'll see, we're going to get a lot of nines in this order. The gem rate, we'll stack them up right here. We got the nines and the tens, so we'll see how we do. Um, Ichiro, rookie. This is 2001, upper deck. This one got a nine as well. The corners look pretty nice, and usually that's what it is on this card. Thought it had a shot. Thought it had a shot. However, alas, fail. Nine. <laughs> Still a nice card to have in a nine, uh, but obviously here we're looking for tens. Uh, here's another Shohei Otani. This one is the one that got a ten. Okay, so we did get one ten, and I'm happy with this. I'm pretty stoked. Any tens in this card are a nice win. Any Shohei rookies are a nice win. I'm happy with this. So this one will go in the 10 column. Sorry, I mixed that up a little bit. I put the Ichiro on the Ichiro. Uh, this one got a nine, right? So another Shohei. And again, this one looks pretty nice to me, but you know, we'll see as we go through. This is the one where I feel like I got burned. Feel like I got burned. You can see the backs on this one are usually what they uh, you know, ding you for. And maybe this one had a little bit of white on it, but this one got an eight. This is the first eight I've gotten on like a modern card in a while. And I feel like I got burned on this one. The surface looks really nice. Centering looks really nice. The only thing I can see is maybe there's a touch of white on the back there. I feel like I got burnt on that one. So that's tough. That's a tough hit. And I had a few of these, like I said, and you can see... The backs on these look pretty sharp. Typically your eyes go to the corners, see if there's any white there, but it looks pretty good. So these all got nine, and I mean all of them. Every single one I submitted got a nine. So there's one, right? There's another one that got a nine. Now, I had a thought, and I'll share that with you guys in a moment, but all these bobbies got nine. So I was just like, what is going on? <laughs> Um, I did submit this Jackson Merrill card, but as you may or may not know, this is not actually Jackson Merrill. This did get a 10, and that's really cool. It's a refractor, 2021 Bowman, but this image, this is not Jackson Merrill. So uh, if you know that, cool. If you didn't know it, now you do. But yeah, cool card. I, it might you know come back around to be more collectible because it's not actually Jackson Merrill. Who knows? Who knows? So this is how we're doing so far. Tons of nines, an eight, and so far three tens. So we keep going. This was another thing. I submitted some base Jackson Merrill cards, just thinking he's gonna, you know, possibly be rookie of the year. And all of these got nined. So I don't know. 
I don't know, man. Well, I'm going to hold that off because I just want to do my stack of Jackson Merrills right here. Um, yeah, another one. Another nine. Now, you know, I, I tried to look and say, well, maybe, maybe it's the centering, right? But I actually picked up a bunch of these, and the centering, to me, looks good on these. Like, let me pick up another one, too. Like, to me, it might be up against the rail here a little bit, but centering looks pretty nice, no matter how you shake it out. So, I'm a little confused on these, I guess. You know, maybe there's something. There's always something, right? But even this one, Heritage. This card isn't really worth much, but I wanted to submit it just because it's just Jackson Merrill. This is his minor league Heritage, right? And this one got a nine. So, I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, I do have a thought, and I'm going to share that with you guys after these next two cards. And the next two cards were the winners in the bunch. These two are probably my two favorite cards in this order to go along with the... Um, the Shohei, the Shohei 10. This one is probably my favorite. This is a 2023 Cosmic Bobby Witt numbered 250 up here, 23 out of 50, and this one got a 10. This is really cool. And one thing I will say about PSA is that these new holders for the die cut cards, really, really nice. Really, really nice. I love how this looks. So PSA... Great job. Very commendable. Awesome holders on the die cut cards. This one got a 10. Very, very happy with that. And the next card that I got, this is a Heritage numbered Gunner Henderson. This one got a 10. This is out of 575, I think. Yeah, right there, 575. This is really cool. The Chrome Refractor, got the little rookie cup in there. I like this. Gunner Henderson, PSA 10. I like that a lot. So, I, I don't even have to ask you guys how we did because, oof, am I right? Oof, we got like a 30% gem rate, right? And I think that's pretty low for what uh, what I'm used to. And, um, you know, is it possible I missed stuff? Is it possible that maybe there's stuff there that I didn't know about? Maybe, maybe. Maybe this order I just kind of flew through and maybe I didn't really take my time, although I think I did. That this eight is surprising. The ratio is surprising between the nines and tens. But you know, we do usually have some really good orders on here, so you gotta take the good with the bad, I guess. Um the thought that I had is this. I've had some luck in the past of just sort of picking out some of the nines that I think could have been tens, and what I'll do is I will actually resubmit them. And I know that these are just like base cards and I don't know how many of these, maybe, maybe the Ichiro, I mean, not the Ichiro, maybe the uh, Otani, you know, if I could maybe try and get a 10 instead of a nine, that would be worth it. It would be worth resubbing because when you do resub, you do have to pay for the grading fee again. So when I do that, I try to make pretty damn sure that it, it's, it's going to be worth it. Um, now I have had some success with that in the past. I think I'm a little bit around like 50 50 so i might go through this stack and just see if there's anything in there that i think might be worth submitting again uh, for review and if you guys have any questions on that submitting cards for review let me know in the comments below and i will walk you guys through that if you have any questions i mean i'm always i'm always here i'm always around so if, um, if you guys do have questions i'm happy to answer any of them for you but i just wanted to share this with you so i hope you guys enjoyed it um let me know how your submissions have been going. I'm really curious about this. Like I said, I have been watching a bunch of PSA reveals lately, and it seems like it's been a bit of a lower gem rate for a lot of people. So I wanted to share this. Would love to know how you guys are doing. Hope all is well, and I hope you guys are enjoying the World Series. All right, I'll see you guys on the next one. Happy card hunting.